If that's in there, I'm those like, are expensive, uh, my guy. Yeah. Curtis gave you Curtis money. Curtis. This is CIB. Excuse me, Mr. Officer. Word of rump. Which NES games did you get? Nothing better than starting the morning with 171 NES games in the bag in hopes of let's get crazy. I'm going to say let's get 200 games today. And I'm here with my friends. It's the freaking best time of the week. Jasper said he brought something to sell me. <gasps> Ooh, look at that hard type. Yeah. Ooh, the cart's clean too. It's really clean. Yeah. Look at this this miracle. Miracle, miracle Warriors. Warriors, let's go. Ooh, Ooh insert. This one's cool. Dude, it's got the map. It's got the map. Yeah, okay, that that's cool. a sick map, yeah. actually. Yeah, I, I used to have Miracle Warriors CIB, but now that I see this, I guess I didn't have it CIB. Now you do. Because that's a true CIB. Yeah, and then you said there's one more? One more. Unmas? Penguin. What a fun game Penguin it's, Land it's is, cool. too, by I the mean, way. The art's cool. The art's beautiful on this. Yeah, yeah. And what'd you want for it? Uh, what I paid. 20 bucks a piece. 20 bucks a piece? Yeah, yeah. All right, I got you. Easy, easy. This is five something. Here you go. Merry Christmas. And then. He pulled out this. Oh, family matters. I can hear the chat. piano starting right now. <laughs> this is, you know what condition this is in? Rare condition this day and age. Yes! And then what about Curtis over here? I just saw you buying something. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to fix this bad boy. The up. good old DMG. Yeah. Missing screen as usual. That's, that's pretty standard with yeah. a Game Boy. And then a good old... A beautiful Dr. Mario, which on the podcast I kind of slammed the. <laughs> you slammed uh, it bad. I kind of slammed it. I, I I like it, but something about it gives me a headache. And maybe it's the music. Even though I love the music, again, it's good, but for some reason, just that beep, 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 boop, 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 for too long gets in my head. All right, come on. What's uh, what's your favorite Eagles song? Hotel California. The, uh, now I go maybe Desperado. Take it easy. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Ricky just got NES games and he's like, you better come here. I just bought some. Excuse me, Mr. Officer, word of rump, which NES games did you get? Ricky just oh, yeah. got here, by the way, a little got, bit different than us. I just got some <gasps> PS2, I got some games. Dude. So I find some fine finds while I'm at the swap meet all the time, but I just found an even sweeter find. Gentle bands. Well played, my man. Well played, my man. I like this good game. Well played. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Gentle Bands is a beautiful ring company, especially for men. One of the things I got done with this one, I'll, I'll get you a little shot later, is I got engraved on the inside my wedding day. My goodness, 2006, I'm getting old. Oh, and by the way, the engraving is free with your purchase. It's pretty cool. Well, actually not, it's pretty cool. It's really cool because they collaborate with family owned workshops in order to make these rings for us and also to get them engraved. Also, I'll show you guys some of the website right now. Their webs, their, their rings aren't like basic. They have rings made from all different materials, tons of different stuff. Uh, they had some with guitar strings inside of them, which I thought was really cool. My beautiful wife, Chanel, what's one of the, what's one of the ones you said? They said there was some other cool materials they used. Ancient meteorites, retired spacecraft, titanium, dinosaur fossils, and even Hawaiian koa wood. Excuse me, what? And with her reading that, you all just realize that your ring is boring. So this ring I got is called a tungsten ring. and I showed some people this weekend when I was at Game on Expo, they loved it. Now I know, not everybody wants to wear rings. They also have chains. By the way, my, my son tried to steal my chain, I'm not gonna lie. Now, right now they are offering free engraving with your purchase and you wanna use the link down below because they're hooking you guys up with 25% off. That's that's a good one. Use the link down below or you can use my code or both, Pixel Game Squad. Again, these are beautiful, they're nice. You know, it's a beautiful way to look beautiful. These are really cool. Thank you, Gentle Bands. I appreciate you for supporting the channel and supporting the video. We do not have Beetlejuice. Okay, for being LJN, this is one of the better ones. This is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best LJN games we have right now, currently, in current state. LJN makes good games? We, and we, we don't have that game. We don't? I will say off the bat, I, I, I do have these, but I, I don't, what, wait, hold on. Ricky bought himself a maraca. Sit, somehow, we, I don't think we have Top Gun either. <laughs> really? I do not think we have Top Gun. Or the second one, the second I, mission. I like how this is the best case, like it's the most projected. Yeah. I was like, yo. And oh, then. let's go! Gee, do we have let's these? Let's go. No, we do not. We have, actually have no Castlevanias right now. So we only need two now. We're going to need two. So this, if we're adding, f wait, that's four games from 171. It's 175. That's four. I will say besides Top Gun, well, Top Gun's decent. Some great, amazing games. <gasps> 
This puts us at 175. I didn't even say that right. <laughs> So it was dark when I got these, all these big video discs. Yeah. Like the big, you know, laser, laser disc, but you know, also called video disc. But look at what the options I got. I know the audience has not seen it yet. Oh, Karate, Karate Kid? Kid? A horror movie oh, dressed dang. to kill? Another oh, horror? Oh, that's a massage. Omen oh. 2? Oh, man. Close, Close Encounters? Encounters? Dang, dude, look at this. Bugs, I like that cover. How sick oh, is that? Oh, I, I know, that is like beautiful. Gandalf! Cujo! No way, you got Cujo? Yeah. And then is this the last one? Oh, nope. dude, Mad this is Max. my favorite one so far. Let's Yay. go. And then how sick is that? The entity. That is cool. Those are sick, dude. I got those for a few bucks each. Dude, this reminds me of a childhood right here. Yeah, that's awesome. such a great movie. Okay, so this is a giant stack of Dragon Ball Z stuff and Dragon Ball Super. A whole Ball thing. GT. Are you are you interested, Ricky? Possibly at the price. Is he looking and like? What's up, bro? Okay, man. What's up? Ooh, I like this. Even though I know it's you know anything. I, like I'm like a seven out of ten Star Wars just guy. Sold the OG of Did you really? Yeah. This is actually from 1937. No. Unreal. Ricky got him. He got the Dragon Ball. He got the Dragon Ball DVDs. Excuse me, sir. I caught someone stealing over there. And if it was the other way around, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> uh oh, there he is, the hoarder. Who would have thought that we just showed up to the swap meet and within minutes we're finding NES games? Yes, to add to our ever-growing NES collection and Sega Master System games, CIB, a whole bunch of stuff. This morning is starting off the way I like it. Dang, Tokyo Drift. Is that Vin Diesel over there? Is it that? Matter if you win, but an inch or a mile. Win it, win it. You tell him, Ricky. You tell him. <laughs> Under the table, what do we got? There we go. Oh. 1993, Kimberly and Trini? Let's go, I'm gonna snag this guy. Ugh. Uh. Great games. Actually, Joust is fantastic, but uh. I mean, with a good cleaning, but uh. Okay, Curtis just came over saying, yo, what happened? Let's you know, see it. You know the dollar booth? We always go to Yeah, the, get yourself a dollar. Old PC stuff, but look at this. Oh, man. Hopefully it's in here. If that's in there, I'm those like, are expensive. Expensive, my oh, guy. No. Oh, it's got to be in there. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. How much is that worth, honestly? I don't even know. A couple hundred bucks, right? For a dollar. I know they're a dollar. That's the. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest. That booth. There's a guy over there, basically that says. But Every... I bought way more. So he says so... everything's a dollar always, yeah. and that's also the same guy that I got my rare VHS off that yeah. all sold in Mercari for like a hundred bucks each. Yeah. So uh, and he he's well aware. Like he just dumps things. Like let's go. One dollar, he likes to move product. Yeah, yeah. And like, really like, I love this old box art. Let's go! For like, graphics cards and stuff like that. So like, I was like, dude, he's had a lot of cool stuff, man. Like, I got this for the podcast, because we're gonna need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at this old box art, dude, for the graphics card. Wow, dude. <laughs> yes. Jaws, it's a singing, dancing, great white with the KB toys. This is one of those like fish things, you know, the Billy Bass things that like talk and sing. But look, it plays Mac the Knife, which by the way is a fantastic, wonderful song. But also the Jaws movie theme. Let's go, and the Osbournes. Let's go, bro. Let me see, I'll take that. Let me see that. Yes, that's Ozzy as well. I'm 100% gonna get this, by the way. I'm grabbing this. There's no question about it. <laughs> and then grabbing this, let me toss her down. A beautiful vintage single stitch, just Panasonic. I love anything that has like, you know, sort of tech related, so I leggy, leggy, leggy. Oh, one game and it's Sesame Street. Sesame Street, one, two, three. Let's see what else. Yeah, hey, for all I know, I might need it though, because I'm going for the full set, so. Oh, we got Genesis controllers in here. Okay, I will take those. Really hard to see right now. I know it's kind of tight in here, guys. Uh, NES controller in there. And then I'm gonna take this down to the floor. Oh, there's an NES. There we go. Let me, let me take this down. Oh, you got the, the, what's his name? The hamburger, oh my gosh. Cursed, cursed, cursed. Look at that, come here, Curtis. Right when I said that, found some more games. Okay, what I'm gonna have to do, no bangers, but I gotta see which of these I do or don't have for the NES set. So I'm gonna have to check that. And then there was a Genesis down here with a Nintendo. So let me do my due diligence and BRB. Boo. I think 
call me the NES hunter, baby. I got them. She my mama, she my mama, she my mama. But, okay, fun fact. So, yes, I got all this. But, I <laughs> Athlete. Did you see that catch? So look how I caught it. Between NES games and NES. Thanks for the catch. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I actually needed three games. I needed... Uh, Bugs Bunny, Birthday Blowout, California Games, and Fighting Golf. Sucky game, fun as heck, fun enough, fun enough. Hey, what's happening? Hey, my boys, what'd you get? Nice work, how much, how much, how much? Four dollars? Actually, the biggest score so far, wait till you see what Curtis got for a dollar. No joke, I'll show you guys in a minute, the audience already saw it. Also earlier, I think I said birthday blowout, but it's Crazy Castle. Wait, what just happened while I was gone? So dude, check this out, look at this Bart. It's for actually a golf club. Wow, and then you got all these plush. Yep. You love your plushies, my guy. Please. Wow, how many did you buy? Uh, What'd you pay? 40 for all. Nice, Ricky. Look, this is from Nintendo World. Oh, oh look yeah. At this one. this one got me really excited. Kirby, it's from the, with a Wii game, I believe. Still sealed. And Snorlax. Cool, right? I have a problem. You know, you don't have a problem because you're standing next to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't collect plush, so. <laughs> and those three NES games put us at 178 NES games in the set. So I did call this a laser disc earlier, but I've always called them video discs, but I guess they're officially called CEDs. I've never actually called them CEDs. He was explaining to Ben, I just saw what you did and you're in trouble. I'm sorry. You can just give me 14 NES classics for that. Thank you. Yeah, but CEDs is the official is correct a, name. Yeah, CED I always call them video discs. Yeah, no, CED disc. You take it, yeah, CED right here. Capacitance electronic disc system. And I do know you stick the whole thing in, like you, you stick, don't you don't take something out, you stick no, it all you, in. These have latches here, so you stick it in and you pull it out and a disc stays in the machine. And then you can watch your movie at leisure. And then you have to watch the status bar Ooh. While, it, while it loads, because it's, it's playing on a needle. Also, Curtis one day is hoping to stick it in. <laughs> And check that the status bar. <laughs> <laughs> this day is insane. We are adding more and more NES games every few minutes. Our friends are finding great deals on stuff. Curtis is finding bangers. This is the kind of day that you pray for. Let's keep going. Look at this, Curtis and I in a box down here under a table full of old Amiga stuff. Shanghai, prime time. If you look on the side. Commodore. Get yourself a little look right here. There you go, Amiga, and this one, Commodore Amiga series. So, always be poking around at weird stuff. Sealed, you just never know. You know what? You never know. Sealed, let me see. Oh, yeah? Sealed hyper, hyper animation. Yeah, this is cool. But hey, it's sealed. You never look at it. I just love, love that. Yo, look at a bunch of old big box PC stuff. This looks wild. X Car, you don't know Jack. Total Annihilation. Actually, we played Total Annihilation before. Shivers 2. Sealed? Ripper sealed? Okay, hold on. Dude, how wild are these? Ripper big box. I got it. Man, these big box. Oh, look who's in it. Christopher Walken. Let's go. I didn't know that. And look at the art on Shivers, too. This is a Sierra game. You got to think of Metal Jesus immediately when you pick these up. I got all of these for 70 bucks. So this one, interesting. So Pirates Captain Quest sealed sells for about $20 online. But again, not with that on there. This is a promo copy. I don't know if on PC, if it holds the same value as like a, you know, a Super Nintendo game would not for resale, but I thought it'd be worth checking out. And then Total Annihilation is the only game of the bundle that I've actually played. And I actually think it's one of the more valuable ones, even though this is the only one that's not sealed. So that's awesome. Jealous. Ben, Cur gave me money. Curtis gave you money. First time ever. After an owner for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all empty, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, but they're, you know. Yeah, they're, they're the good titles, more popular you know. titles. So there you go. Appreciate and you know, it, like Ricky just sold them all loose. Did he really? Remember on Whatnot? Oh my Dang gosh, it. Ricky. He has to make it in the basket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make it in the basket, bro. Let's let's it. Basket. Come on, he said he caught. No, no, you got to make it in the basket. We'll no, bring that over here. All of them at once. Oh, yeah, all of them at once. All right, let's see. Wait, stay away from my sealed games. Hold on. All right, now make it in the basket. All right. Da -da -da -da. That's in. That's in. That's, That's in. Status right there. That is the whitest thing you could have said. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, that is huge. I definitely will say I do not need this, and I only when I the things I don't need that I sell I sell on whatnot. And there's no way I'm shipping this. 
No, I think it would just be a keeper. But look wow. how big this thing is. I'm not the biggest Ooh. Fallout guy. Wow, though, that is sick. Dude, I might yeah. get this from my coworker. Do well, it, bro. He's a big Fallout guy, dude. <laughs> what is going on? What'd you buy? What'd you buy? Atari, dude. You don't see much Atari out here. You know what I'm happy about you getting all this Atari? <laughs> I was like, dude, I, Complete I saw this. I'm like, set. hey, I need some of these manuals for the Nintendo stuff. But look at it. These, yeah. I, lo I love it. Look at this. Old Atari, Atari Force. Force. Yeah, comic dude. book based oh, off uh, Atari. Yes, sir? Yes, Dennis. Hey, what's your... Uh... Yes, celebrity. Your name on, on YouTube. Pixel Game Squad. Pixel Game Squad. Okay, yeah, cool. Bro, don't. You're, you're about to be famous. I'm warning you right now. I know. I know. Look at those manuals. Look at how cool that Captain Commando watch would have been. Oh my gosh, it would have been beautiful. Yeah, and actually. then look at the shirt that you're wearing, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Here, you might yeah. want to. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So Nintendo Power. Let's give me a better light on. Nintendo it. Power 50, right? Ooh. But look what the back says. Then the power of Nintendo, Nintendo Power Staff. This thing is so sick, man. Goes perfect with my staff infection. <laughs> What'd you do? That means you just whack somebody, bro. What just happened? What just happened? He said, what happened? He said, walk a little bit. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, I got some cool Wii games. Why are you Actually, smiling? I got one Wii game. Oh. A buttload of times. <laughs> What, what? Oh no, what'd you get, Ben? Speculation, Ben? It's kind of speculation, but like, PC, price train? Has these at like, 12 or $14 each? What are you doing with your life, Ben? And how many did you buy of them? Uh, like, 30 or 25? <laughs> you have a problem, I'm just letting you know now. This is gonna be my new favorite game, come on! We're gonna, Curtis is gonna come over, we're gonna dance it up, bro. <laughs> Come on, you want a free copy? I'll give you a free copy. How's that sound? Um, I'm okay, Ben. Instead, I'll pray for you. Oh, what? Freaking Little Nemo Dream Master. So I paid 60 bucks for these, which is actually a good deal. A, nice, a very nice. good deal. So, first off, let's dive into it. I did already have Little Nemo, I'll be honest, so I don't necessarily add to the collection, but it wasn't CIB. This is CIB. Little Nemo Dream Master. It does have the manual. Guys, I am telling you, one of the best Nintendo games. Look at the cutscenes in the game. The cutscenes are beautiful. Jared can throw in any soundtrack from the game. Any soundtrack, and it's shockingly beautiful. Jared? It was a gorgeous, gorgeous time playing this. Perfect. And more uniquely, can we hold that for me, Ben? Yes, sir. Sweet Home. So obviously this is a, you know, not an official, but the game itself is an actual official game. It was in Japan. There was a horror franchise called, or horror movie called, Sweet Home. They made a game in Japan. And guess who makes this game actually? In Japan. Capcom. It is Capcom. It's a Capcom game, and they brought it over, obviously, fans and, and all like. That's real blood, right? That is actually real blood from Curse's mom. <laughs> And, and just a heads up, Sweet Home is on price charting, so I can add it. If I can push the button like an idiot. Oh my gosh, help me. Lord, why? Oh, what? there we go. Added to the collection. Which, by the way, does put us at 179 NES games. Let's see. That's the bag. So he just came up to us literally and was like, hey, you want to buy some stuff? And I was like, maybe? It was drugs, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. So I'm going to pull this out and try not to look at that grab. Uh -oh. That was the perfect grab. GBA. Earthworm Gym. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh, gosh. I almost dropped him. Dark Arena. Ooh, Metal Slug. Capcom Classics. Samurai Jack. And Castlevania. The classic NES series. So is this everything in here? That's everything. Do you know what you wanted by any chance? Like I said, if I can get close enough to what would be comfortable for Metal Slug, I'm good. What's Metal Slug go for? Do you know? Uh, I think it's like between 7 and 11. Okay, let me look it up real quick and then we'll we'll be good. No Silence. So right there, I just got all those and he just straight up said, like, give me like 70 bucks. I actually gave him 80. He was like, if you give me what this is kind of worth, but I was like, hey, let me give you at least 10 more. So I know that's a fantastic deal. Take that, Tony. Take that, Tony. Sorry. Yeah, I like it. Honk at me, yeah. lady. I love Natalie. it when you honk. Natalie, <laughs> hey, on, don't call man. me that. <laughs> look at that, bro. Look what I just got, dog. She Take that. Oh, no. Oh, oh for real. Stupid, <laughs> stupid Tony. Oh, on. Yo, my goodness. It's the whole play set with all your friends. <laughs> you guys are sick. And I love every second of it. <laughs> Whoa. 
You just brought that for Curtis? For Curtis. Okay, oh, that oh, is Curtis. sick. Yeah. Have to be, Let me I see the back. Stop it somehow. Dude, that is Chip awesome. Hazard. Chip Hazard. Now do an Ollie. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Unfreaking believable today was. Unfreaking believable. I can't wrap my head around at every booth. There was never a place we went where we didn't not only just get stuff, but score. Today was absolutely unfreaking believable. So what I do from here is I come home and I clean every single item and separate what I'm keeping and what I'm selling. Obviously, I'm keeping all the Nintendo stuff and we'll see what else after. But I want to show you guys where we're at in the shed in the podcast studio in the game room after this. So I cleaned all my items, a whole bunch of good stuff. But I have to say, some of the items that stick out a little bit more are still these big box PC games that I got. Like the value on these are actually really good. This Shivers right here is worth about 25 bucks. Again, a Sierra game. This game is worth about 50 bucks right here this Ripper game, which is by far the coolest looking one. This Pirates one is interesting again because, so it sells for about $30 on solds, but not the promo, so unique. And then the one that caught me off guard the most was this Total Annihilation because I was telling you guys earlier, hey, it's not sealed, it's not sealed. I was wrong. The front does open up just because it's an open like this, but is sealed and estimated to be worth around 80 to 160 bucks. And I'm well aware that this style of collecting was very frowned upon in the early days, but the fact that I got all the NES games that I did today, and then I'm gonna sell the stuff that I don't want, in the end, I am hunting for free and not paying for anything and getting stuff for my NES collection. Yes, my NES set will end up hopefully costing me close to nothing in the end. Can I also take a minute to show you guys two of the bangers that I got recently? <laughs> So I got these for a really good deal. For a really good deal, and I am not keeping these for anything. This right now is like 300, 350-ish dollars, and Rule of Rose, I don't even understand, but that's the current market for it. I don't understand, and I'm absolutely not keeping these, because I can buy $650 worth of NES games for the set with just this game. But now you gotta see some of the other things that I've got recently. I know I'm just kind of like a show and tell towards the end because I'm really excited about some of the stuff I got and actually some of the stuff that surprised me. So here it is. Here's some of the stuff that kind of caught me off guard. So a lot of these 7,800 games were bought a while back and what I've noticed, a little be on the lookout for you guys, I didn't look up these exact ones, but a lot of these 7,800 games have seemed to like double in price or raise up pretty well. I mean, guy, this was, 99 bucks, I don't know what it's worth now. I'll hold it right here so Jared can pop in a comp right to the right of it. Let's see if it went up or down, I'm not sure, but just kind of be on the lookout. I've noticed that 7800 has kind of been playing some games. Oh, also, you want a big be on the lookout right here? Here you go, check this. Powerpuff Girls DVD set, yeah. Oh, God. oh! Yeah, it's worth like 130 to 200, maybe 100 now because of that. <laughs> and I picked this up for forty dollars just hey n60 how much are the n64s 40 bucks i'll take it now you guys are getting an idea of how, I'm, how my brain's been working to get our nes set going which by the way is looking amazing we'll, we'll look at it a little closer in a minute but check it out you guys are seeing how my brain's working buy a big lots of stuff sell stuff like this that's worth like 425 dollars and it's so heavy because you know what 425 dollars would do to add to that set it will look amazing and guys this was a score oh my phone is being i mean my camera is being weird but i got about a hundred Sonic comics. These are awesome. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to put the Bart Simpson one in there, but all the rest of these are all Sonic comics. Just ton. I know I had a score like maybe a year, year and a half, maybe two years ago, finding a ton of Sonic comics. And again, it happened again. I literally got about a hundred of them. They're awesome. Knuckles the Echidna, the original Sonic ones, all different ones. They are just beautiful and looking, oh, oh. And now, well, Beto and everybody, we get the, look at that, look podcast at that. setting up. There we go. Ben finished cleaning more games. The legend, yes, by sir. volunteer again, I have to say, wanted to clean every game, so he's making his Nobody's way Nobody's gonna do it as good as Ben. Nobody does it as good as Ben. That's right. Ben is, I mean, you can see the cleanliness on these puppies. So now we're gonna put these back in their cases, and then we'll, uh, maybe we'll have Ben do the final honors of setting a game on the shelf for us. Nice. Oh, baby.